people ask me how I taught myself how to like eat and stuff. And I don't remember because obviously at two years old, I was already holding a fork in my foot. So apparently my brain just knew how I was gonna have to do that stuff before I actually realized that I had no arms. <laughs> When I was younger, I wanted to be the best basketball player in the world. And I spent years practicing and I, I got pretty good at it for with a guy without arms. The reality was that I was never gonna be an NBA basketball player, but I needed to do it just to prove that I could. Probably within a couple weeks of getting a bow, I, I knew what I was supposed to do with my life. I found my Michael Jordan moment and at that point on, I. You know, eight hours a day sitting in a chair trying to make, you know, a Paralympic Games. Cars and archery are very similar, as in a car just wants to be driven and it doesn't care how it wants to be drove. A bow wants to be shot. It doesn't care how it's shot. So you could be a very good archer and a very good mechanic or race car driver because it doesn't care, right? It's just a machine or whatever. And so that's why I love both of those sports. That arrow is special because I was able to learn so much from it. And I didn't really learn that much from my medals because, you know, when you're doing well, you think you have it figured out. It's when things go wrong is when you learn your lessons to make you better. I got to spend a whole year with my family where normally I'm traveling all the time. Just financially or whatever, what I ended up doing is I kind of just would fix cars in my garage. But I was able to make it work. Uh, I'm a fighter and I'm more ready now for the games than I probably was last year. Yeah.